Hello my beautiful people, how are you doing? You all right? I haven't done one for a long time. I, well, it seems like a long time to me, I tell you. But, um, uh, well, uh, not very well. Mostly kids just tell by the face. Oh, a little bit saggy, a bit saggy. Bit like, oh, groggy, a bit dizzy. Went to the doctors uh, about, uh, ooh, it's over just over a week ago now. Um, and complaining about uh, I was going back down again, you know, back down in the old depressive hole, as they all say. And uh, my doctor said, you know, you've been on this drug for a long, long time. I've got a more modern one. How about, here's a prescription for it. You've taken your, your citalopram this morning, but it's all right. Take the new one tonight and you'll be fine. You might go down a little bit but it'll be okay, it'll be all right, because a week later you'll be back up again. Anyway, so, left the doctors, took this tablet, got to take it in the evening, all right? Apparently you got to take it in the evening. Don't know why, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> oh yes, I do now, I do know, I do know now. Um, I died for 48 hours. Literally went, doof, like that, gone. Everything, whoosh, did not know where I was until I would say Sunday really Sunday still struggling a bit um, did a bit yesterday uh, but exerted myself helped somebody tow a caravan went out last night to uh, to a band um, and uh, I, oh, man today I, I, what's, I don't know what the time is it's got to be I don't know something like two o'clock in the afternoon um, I've only been up an hour an hour. That's how. That's how it totally wiped me out. So um, I'm off work at the moment uh, for 21 days. But there you go. That's life. I got to pick myself back up. I got to get these meds sorted out so they don't actually kill me. Because uh, I don't want to be driving my truck along the motorways. And um, and uh, yeah, I don't want to be taking people out. You know what I mean? Don't mind myself. But I don't want to be taking other people out. Anyway, I haven't done anything to the van this... Anyway, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done anything to the van. Bought some lights and stuff. And I got and I got all the channeling to do uh, for the lights. I got LED lights to put in. Um, oh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, nothing really. Nothing really. I'm looking at putting... I'm looking at putting the... Uh, underbody water tank and waste tank on the on the on the van um they're they're coming in about 116 quid from cav up near kenilworth i think it's kenilworth i think i think that's where i found i think that's where i saw it um and that's 116 quid for the fresh water i think it's about 70 liters i think it's 70 liters fresh water and about 50 liters for gray waste and that'll be lovely to get to get it all nicely underneath as well because it's one sits behind the driver's side and one sits on the passenger side so that's lovely that's lovely and i think it'll sit nicely either side of the uh, uh the fuel tank down the bottom so that'll be good won't it that'll be good any other news any other news i don't think there's any other news no not really been helping the ex-missus with the um with their with their house well not the house not that i don't yeah, I'll put up some shelves for her. Uh, put up Tilly TV bracket. Uh, what else have I done? I started on her fencing, which is it's, it's looking quite good myself. I tell you what, I tell you what. If you need a fencerist, come this way. That's only when I'm feeling better, all right? Because right. oh yeah, because I did it. I uh, oh, I did me back in. Oh, it kills me. It still hurts now. Still hurts now. Uh, I still struggle to like get up. I think it's my age though. I think it's my age. But it's yeah, it's cool. Oh, by the way, <laughs> got me coffee. You know what I mean? You gotta have your coffee, haven't you? Hey, still in the big mug. Still in the big mug. Never go for a little one. Go for a big one. That's what I always say. Go for a big one. And for all the art, I tell you what. Oh, hang on. Slurp coming up. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? <clears throat> For all those lovely, lovely people, from the last time I put on my 
on my videos on YouTube. I thank you so much for following me. I tell you what, I've no, I've, I never thought, I never thought in my life that so many people would actually want to listen to my crap because that's all it is, it's just crap. It's just all, it's just venting off, talking about the van life, talking about my van, my life, uh, talking about my issues and shit like that. I've got loads of issues, loads of issues. I've got big mood swings. Anyway, but thank you, thank you so much to you lovely, lovely people. It's been fantastic. I've, uh, I think I've had a couple, few comments on there. Hopefully I've answered them. Um, or thanked you, or, but it's it's uh, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely feeling inside that people actually take that time out to uh, to watch a video of of just say moi. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was that's cool. Um, oh yeah, I was uh, that I was helping with a van with a friend. Remember me telling you? That's where the last videos were taken. And she kept, and she crept round the van. Yeah, she crept round the van. Oh, well, I got a text from her the other day. Was it yesterday, day before? I can't remember. Um, somebody's wrote a van off, which is bad news. She's, uh, so, I haven't, I haven't texted her or called her to find out, because there was supposed to be an engineer going out to check on it. Uh, but I haven't found out what's going on with her. Um, I do wish her the best for that. But as I said to her, as I did say to her, if uh, if, the, if the van's gone and it's a write-off, then it's 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 fine. You know, move on to the next van. It's a great adventure, isn't it? It's an adventure. That's what you need is the adventure. So hopefully she'll be fine, which is good. Which is very I I'm, I mean. See, she's very positive. She's got a very, very positive outlook. She's got a huge, huge amount of people around her, so I think she'll be. I think she'll be good. All right. It's a big shout out to you, Stevie. All right. Also, I uh, I was watching another video. Um, uh, I think his name. Oh my God! This is what happens when you get old. I tell you. Um, Andy. I think his name's Andy. I'm sure his name's Andy. Andy Charrington or something like that. Andy, do you know what? I think it could be Andy Charrington. But, big shout out to him as well. All right, follow him on on YouTube. Very, very funny man. Very, very funny man. He's a young lad, young lad, who works, who, who lives full time in, in his van as well. He's a, uh, <laughs> he's had some, I'll tell you what, he's had some tribulations with that van. First one I saw, which, which highlighted him towards me, was, um, he filled his, you know, as you go up to a fuel to fuel pump, and you you know you open your fuel pump and you pop the old diesel in, and, poosh, and away you go. Um, apparently, he was filling the van inside the van because this thing was just a hole to the van, which the people didn't tell him was was about. So, but no, it, it just I don't know him. Oh, I just friended him on Facebook as well. Um, which is nice. I got me up with a few beers, Andy. All right. So if you follow this, a few beers, cool. All right. Anyway, so um, yeah. But he seems so positive. He seems so happy, and I just love that out of a person. And I think that it's just like, wow. How do you deal with that? That would have really wiped me out. I would have said, ah, oh, for flipping heck, flipping heck's sake. That's what I would have said. And I would have just scrapped the van and got another one. But no. He just went and fixed it, all sorted. Then he has a tire blowout, and it rips out one of his one of his um, wheel arches on the back, uh, which is where his gas sits on top of it, like that. And it's got like uh, the the boxing; it's just all trashed. But knowing Andy, what happened? He'll sort it, and he'll be out again, out in his van, enjoying his barn owls, enjoying his new girlfriend um, and taking his kids of course I've seen pictures of him and his kids um, but yeah it's lovely to have positive people around like that as well also Bry 
um, the ramblings of Bry on Facebook. You've got to follow him as well, because he's, I, uh, he's, uh, I'd say he's, a, what, for the late 50s, early 60s? I don't know. But he's, he's a lovely man where he's, you know, stay well and he just seems so calm. Don't know how long he's been doing full time van life, but I just, you know, I hope I turn out to be as calm as him and to be as happy as Andy. That would be so lovely. That would be so lovely. But let's see what these medications does, eh? Anyway, if you like it, you know what to do. If you don't like it, <laughs> You know what to do again, don't you? Put the thumbs down. If you're like me and you want to follow me, subscribe. All right, my darlings. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.